because I know him, his work and accomplishment from All India Institute for many years. So if you go down today, what are the things that contributed? But before I go to cardiology, I would like because it is basically this oration is delivered to the students in, in this auditorium and at students at large in your institution, that never forget that 400 years ago, the Hippocratic Oath was written by Hippocrates. This actually embodies the principles on which we were born to be as doctors and should always be as doctors. And I think that that will be giving you the maximum satisfaction and success in the world. And hopefully you will also stand here like Dr. Sunawala did to give this kind of message to our community again and again. So if you see, coming down to coronary artery disease and other forms of atherosclerotic disease, 50% of all deaths will be somehow related to cardiovascular. Now we have identified some major risk factors. We still don't know some of them. But if you look at it here, two of them, the first two, on the left hand side, you have no control over your age and your family history. So family history we know genetically we have propensity of coronary artery disease passing down families. So much so that I have actually operated on grandparents when I came 30 years ago, then the parents and now the grandchildren of those grandparents. So there is a definite lineage in this imprint of genetic imprint of coronary artery disease or atherosclerotic disease. So if you know that you do have, and this is something that I think you can transfer to your patients because they still are not aware, that if there is heart disease in the family, then the children will have double the chance that if we estimate 12% today will have coronary artery disease, then those children will have 20 to 25% chance of developing heart disease. 